Okay guys, so welcome back to Joe's RC Corner and today it's raining in the desert. We're going to be trying to get a little bit of work done today. Um, I want to try to uh, at least get these uh, supports mounted. So that's my plan. And then we're going to have to cover up the airplane in case it starts raining a little bit more. All right, guys. So like I said, today we're going to be working a little bit on the uh, dorsal a little bit more. Um, next things I got to do is I got to get the uh, supports. These right here. We need to uh, make up a support that goes right along here, along the inside of this curve. Uh, so I did mark it out. I'm going to take some tape, and uh, we're going to mark it out with some pieces with a piece of tape, so I don't have to put any more uh, marks on the skin. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. That way, we can take this and kind of line it up along there, cut in and. So I'll probably have to put notches over here so I can bend it along the curve. And uh, that'll be the plan. We'll get that in. Um, and it looks like we'll only be able to go to about right here, uh, which is probably all we need. Uh, but I'm going to double check on the plans. But uh, so basically from this point here um, to about here. And that'll give me enough to grab it. Um, and then what we'll look at doing is uh, I want to put some of this on this edge. So I might have to look at how I might be able to do that uh, without interfering with the skin uh, being riveted on here, of course. So uh, back half might need to be trimmed um, so it doesn't overlap or I don't know. We'll figure something out. Uh, if we can't put this on, that's fine. I just figured it might look nice to do that. Uh, worst case, uh, later on down the road, what we can do is we'll make some sort of fillet piece that goes around here, something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and uh, do have a little bit more sand in right here in this edge here, because that's pretty tight. Uh, but everything else seems to fit really nice. Um, so we'll continue on. And uh, once we get that done, then we can pull the stab off and get that trimmed back there so that I can have full up elevator um, and get that taken care of. So that'll be the next step as well. I have them marked off on both sides. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to work, guys. So welcome back from the time lapse, and we got uh, got quite a bit done today. Um, I think I'm going to work on one more thing, but that requires taking that whole the whole rudder off the aircraft uh, and the vertical stab because the next thing that I really wanted to get done today and the collar done for the day will be this piece right here on both sides. We've got to get that trimmed up so I can get up elevator because right now, as it is, it hits here and it will dent my elevator. So, but uh, other than that, guys, uh, what we've got done here is we have the 
this piece now is uh, on. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do this piece uh, because that's going to hinder the rivets here if I put this rubber piece along here. Um, I know it would look nice, but I'm not sure how I can do that. So, um, and uh, here's the other side over here. So all looking pretty good. These are now to final hole size, which are A4s. These are to hole, final hole size A5s. Um, and the pieces are now attached to the skin of the top of the aircraft. So that is done. Pretty happy. And of course the access panel is great because it allows me to get to that pulley right there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but there's a pulley there for the elevator. I'll be able to get to it to uh, service as needed. Uh, I'm not sure how much you'll have to service it, but at least I have access to it if I do need to. Um, so that's done there. The, so what I think I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna clean up my mess over here and then we'll take the vertical stab off and pull the rudder. Uh, I may not need to pull the rudder. We may just pull the vertical stab off, um, drill a hole here, and then cut from there to the hole, and then from here to the hole. We'll do that, get that done, and uh, call her done for the day. And uh, we'll be back out here later this week. Uh, Thursday, we have the uh, hangar inspection, so I'll be out here for that but I will also be working on the Cricut here. So I'm hoping uh, my fuel sender should be here today. So I'll be able to start maybe putting the fuel tanks together, getting that done. And then I can start working on the, the uh, fuel line. And I might give Roger a call over at, uh, Vike, or at Zenith uh, to see where he recommends drilling that extra hole because I know uh, the tanks here uh, need to have two holes. One of them is from the vent. That vent is going back and over to the uh, header tank. And then you also have the fuel supply coming from the tank. And that is also going down into the header tank from each tank. So uh, I need to figure out where to put the holes along the rear spar. I don't want to put too many holes back here, but we need to get fuel lined out of the wing and into that. So um, we need to see about that. Uh, but other than that, that's where we are. I have her covered back up again because we've been having rain on and off today and uh, wanted to have it uh, covered and protected just in case. So that's where we are for today, guys. I also just slap this on there for a look right now. Just keep it out of the way, keep it from getting damaged. So that's where we are today, and we're gonna go ahead and finish that part up. Once that's done, then it's the end of the video. So uh, I'm just gonna end it here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, what, like the video if you like what you're seeing. I do have a uh, Teespring store selling these L750 Cricut T-shirts if you wanna help support the build. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you visit the Teespring store, purchase a t-shirt to help support the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.